Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us show you how simple and how easy it can be to begin the reversal process, no matter what your health challenge may be. The body can turn on a dime if we turn on a dime. Now, it may take you a while. It may take you six months or a year before you're completely turned around, before you're completely recovered. But as soon as the bad stuff co stops coming in and the good stuff starts going in, the body can turn on a dime. That is so, so, so important to understand if you're dealing with some kind of chronic, long-term, progressive degenerative illness and you've been told you're going to be on your medication for the rest of your life. You're going to be on this thyroid medication the rest of your life. You're going to be on your statin drug or antihypertensive for the rest of your life. I'm here to tell you that is not the case. We can turn this thing around, people, no matter what your health challenge is. If you have questions about how to do it, if you have questions about supplementation, if you've got questions about anything we're talking about or have been talking about here today or a comment or success story, our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And I also want to encourage you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, the truthtreatments.com, Truth Retinol 5% Gel. If you're interested in anti-aging or you have dark spots you want to get rid of, if you want to prevent blemishes or if you have blemishes, if you want smooth, soft skin underneath, the, underneath the surface is smooth, soft skin, and getting rid of that surface, dead surface tissue can be very important for helping not only improve the appearance of the skin immediately, but in the long term as well. That's why exfoliation techniques are so important, and that's why retinol is so important. You can find our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We've got lines open, 844-236-6010. We are talking phytonutrition, plant nutrition. I want to continue, actually finish up with uh, our discussion on shea butter, one of my favorite topical ingredients. Shea butter is polyphenol rich, rich in phytonutrients. It's skin softening, it's protecting, it helps heal the skin. It lends itself very easily to DIY, do-it-yourself projects. It's very effective topically. It's almost almost therapeutic and almost medicinal topically. And it's cheap and it's easily available. You can get a pound jar of unrefined shea butter off Amazon for 15, 15 to twenty dollars a pound. A pound. That's a lot of shea butter. And it's straight, it's active, it's unpreserved. You can use it just as is. You can just dip your hand in there and melts at skin temperature. As soon as it hits your skin, it's gonna melt and turns into a luxurious oil. It is a little bit heavy but is, it's especially effective for hands and feet and also on the back. It's a little bit heavy for the face, but if you have really, really dry skin, you might, you might find it, uh, you might find it a tra uh, something that you'd want to use. I find it a little bit heavy. I always cut it. You can cut it with your favorite lotion. You can add it right into your favorite lotion. 
you do want to use it fresh, as we said yesterday, because it does go rancid, and you can tell it's, you'll be able to tell it's rancid by the odor. Refined shea butter is going to last a little longer. I recommend the unrefined stuff. The unrefined stuff has got more therapeutic value. Uh, a lot of the phytonutrients are refined out in the refining process. So use the unrefined kind. It's Like I say, it's cheap. Uh, it will go bad, so you got to use it probably in a year or so. Um, but that's, you know, most people will use it before a year. According to the American Shea Butter Institute, refining and oxidizing shea butter also takes out the cinnamic acid. Cinnamic acid is the sun protection properties. Now, I'm not saying that the cinnamic acid is going to be totally sun protective. Shea butter is not totally sun protective. In fact, it's an oil, so it's going to probably cause a little bit of burning if you put it on your skin. Nonetheless, the cinnamic acid, the cinnamates, do have some ultraviolet shielding properties. Uh, but the heat, if it's uh, refined, if your shea butter is refined, that cinnamic acid is coming out. You will still get the moisturizing. It will always have that skin softening properties. Those are not affected by processing or, or oxidation. So even if you're using refined shea butter, and most skin products, most skin care companies are only working with the refined shea butter. The, uh, the unrefined stuff does have a characteristic odor, which I find very attractive, but uh, most, process, most companies that are processing their products are going to take that out. You can slow down the rancidity, if you so desire, of your shea butter by squeezing a little vitamin E capsules to it, and then it'll last longer. Uh, if you melt, if you take a little bit of shea butter and melt some beeswax in there, you can make yourself your own lip balm. Maybe 1% beeswax or 2% beeswax will harden the shea butter, and you can pour it into a little, little, uh, little pot or little, uh, I don't know, little jar of some kind, and you just carry it around with you. It makes a great unpreserved shea, uh, lip, uh, shea butter lip balm. You can add a little vitamin A in there. If you want to cut it, use jojoba oil. You get a great body lotion. This stuff is really, really amazing, not just because it's active, but because there's so much you can do with it. The chocolatey smell, uh, which I find really attractive, you can add uh, you can add a little lavender in there, and the chocolate lavender go together really well. A little vanilla, uh, if you want to, uh, or maybe a little bit of lime, if you want to really get a nice sensual experience. If you add more shea butter to the jojoba oil, or throw a little coconut oil, you can turn your lotion into a nice creamy substance, or even a body butter. And you can pay a lot of money for these body butters, and they're mostly water. You know, you can pay $30, $40, $50 for a body butter, for an 8-ounce uh, or 4 or 8-ounce jar of body butter. That's what they call them. And it's 80% water, and you've got emulsifiers and surfactants. Make your own. Shea butter, jojoba oil, a little bit of beeswax if you want, just to harden it up just a little bit. If you put too much in there, it'll get too hard. So you have to be careful how much you use. Experiment. I always encourage people to experiment. In the kitchen, experiment with your own products, experiment with your own herbs. You can add all kinds of herbal material to your shea butter, too. If you melt your shea butter, it doesn't take much. You can just stick it in the microwave for maybe 15 or 20 seconds, and it'll melt. You can throw in some herbs and just let it set in there into the hot oil, uh, hot shea butter liquid, and a lot of that herbal, a lot of the medicinal properties out of the herbs or the spices, if you're using spices, will come out in the shea butter, and you'll have a nice therapeutic product. The shea butter itself is super healing. You use it for burns, for abrasions. You can use it for diaper rash, chap lips, as I say, and then the cinnamic acid has wonderful sun protection properties. And as we talked about a little bit a couple days ago, the cinnamic acid is like an alpha hydroxy acid. It will actually actually exfoliate the skin and it will improve the penetration of other active materials that you happen to add into your shea butter. So if you're going to make your own shea butter product, go crazy with vitamins, especially your fatty vitamins. Add uh, vitamin A, add vitamin E. The cinnamic acid will improve the penetration of those vitamins. And you'll get a little bit of a little bit of exfoliating properties, and that can help improve thinning skin, or uh, it'll also help improve uh, water loss that comes through the stratum corneum barrier, the surface barrier. This stuff is amazing, and it's cheap, and it's easily easily uh, it's readily available just off the internet. All right, that's all I want to say about shea butter. I've been using it now for almost 30 years in my skin practice, and I absolutely love the stuff. All right, so another uh, really cool polyphenol or phenolic acid. Remember, we're talking about these plant nutrients. We talked about the lignans. That's the first class. That's in flax seeds and other seeds. We talked about the still beans like resveratrol. And now we're talking about the phenolic acids like cinnamic acid. Another really cool phenolic acid is called gallic acid. And this one's really neat. This one is amazingly medicinal, especially when it comes to cancer. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We've got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have questions about the longevity products or your longevity business or our true skin health products, if you have success stories, we love hearing those. If you just want to contribute to the conversation, this is your program as well as my program. This is for all of us here, if you have something to say, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will get your calls here momentarily, so hang tight, and we do have lines open, 844-236-6010. From the, uh, this is from the journal Health Day, or the news site Health Day, a brainwave to help fight PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which develops as a reaction to terrifying events, wars, natural disasters, sexual assault, other kinds of assaults, traumas. All of these can lead to anxiety issues, flashbacks, nightmares, overall misery, depression. Now they're using brain waves to help modulate the effects or the, uh, the symptoms of PTSD, a post-traumatic stress syndrome. Post-traumatic stress syndrome, obviously, like all brain issues, involves brain waves. You've got four major brain waves. They call them alpha brain waves, beta brain waves, theta brain waves, and delta brain waves. Nowadays, there's a fifth one called gamma brain waves. Your beta brain waves are really, really fast, and they're associated with stress. They're also associated with problem solving. They're associated with wakefulness day-to-day -day functioning. So uh, the beta brainwaves are what most of us are functioning under, and we need those beta brainwaves. But the problem is, is when we have anxiety issues, our beta brainwaves are, are going nuts. We got way more beta than the other ones. Alpha brainwaves are a little bit slower. And you want to you want to learn how to leverage those alpha brainwaves or take advantage of those alpha brainwaves just for overall health, number one, but especially if you're dealing with PTSD issues. And a lot of the strategies that we talk about on the bright side, the uh, breathing and the relaxing and the, the muscle relaxation and the calorie restriction, the hot water, a lot of these relaxation strategies that activate the rest and digest system are also alpha brainwave stimulating. Rhythms are classically alpha brainwave stimulating. Slow rhythms. That's why when you're breathing, you want to breathe rhythmically. You've all seen the hypnotists, the, the classic stereotypical hypnotist who has the watch and the, the uh, person who's going to be hypnotized looks at the watch as it goes left and right and left and right. You are getting sleepy. That's going into an alpha state. You can use this alpha state or this rhythm, uh, the, the uh, uh, alpha state that's induced by rhythm when you're falling asleep, especially if you have insomnia. Learning to go into alpha state willingly or volitionally or consciously is an incredibly helpful strategy if you're dealing with PTSD, anxiety, insomnia, any kind of stressful situations. And something as simple as going into a rhythm can kick your alpha state, kick you into a, an alpha state. There's a really cool book, by the way, called, uh, the, op uh, called the Open Focus Technique by a guy named Fermi, F-E-R-M-I. Uh, open focus is in the title, and I forgot the full name of the title, but he talks about looking out of the periphery of your eyes to activate the alpha state. Looking through your peripheral vision, he states in the book that when you focus through the center of your eyes, you activate beta, and when you focus on the sides of your eyes peripherally, you activate alpha, which is really interesting because looking through the sides of your mouth is a well-known shamanic technique for seeing auras. If you look out of the side of your eyes at a tree, you'll actually be able to see the energy coming off of the tree. Now, they don't say anything about alpha states, at least traditionally, when they're talking about seeing auras by looking through the periphery of your eyes, but that's exactly what's happening. You're activating, the, at least according to this guy, Fermi, who wrote uh, The Open Focus State, uh, that's exactly what's happening. By looking out of the periphery of your eyes, uh, looking peripherally, you are activating alpha brain waves and you're going into a relaxed state. Try it now. I'm doing it right now. And it almost instantly puts you into a relaxed state. Okay, let's see here. From the open access journal called Scientific Reports, study on mice demonstrates the action of strawberries against breast cancer. A study by European and Latin American researchers has shown that strawberry extract can inhibit the spread of laboratory-grown breast cells. 
How interesting is that? Well, now you know why. If you've been listening to The Bright Side for the last couple of weeks, you know that strawberries and all berries are rich in anti-cancer, antioxidant, and very therapeutic phytonutrients, especially gallic acid, which you're going to be talking about in the coming Bright Side episodes. Gallic acid is rich in all the berries, including strawberries. Blueberries probably have the highest amount of gallic acid, but all berries are going to have gallic acid, which means anti-cancer, as well as antioxidant properties. And, uh, and according to this article, anyway, strawberry, uh, strawberries, uh, gallic acid-rich strawberries can help you if dealing with breast cancer, at least in a test tube. Okay, one more here, and then we'll get to your, uh, get to your phone calls. I got a whole bunch here, actually, but one more. Uh, master detox molecule boosts immune defenses. This is from the journal Immunity. Scientists at Luxembourg Institute of Health have discovered a hitherto unknown molecular mechanism by which human, the human immune system activates T cells. Guess what the molecule is? It's called glutathione, which is indeed the master detox molecule in the body. Glutathione is ridiculously important for a lot of reasons. It helps fight cancer, number one. It helps detoxify poisons, number two. It has chelating properties if you're dealing with heavy metal, mercury issues, if you're uh, worried about radiation poisoning, Fukushima issues. Glutathione is amazing stuff. It's made up of three little pieces. It's called a tripeptide because it's made up of three little amino acids. And these three amino acids are vitally important, and it's a good idea if you're interested in making your own glutathione to be using these three amino acids daily. Number one, glycine. You get that from bone broth protein, which you can find at brightsidehealth.com. Glycine is found in cartilage, glycine is found in collagen, and glycine deficiency is a hidden and very underappreciated deficiency. Glycine itself is involved in detoxification. Glycine has relaxing properties, but it's also a component of the glutathione molecule. Make sure you're using your bone broth protein regularly and you'll get your glycine. Glutamine is the second little piece, little amino acid, very, very important on its own, not just as a component of, glut of glutathione, but as on its own, it's wonderfully detoxifying. It's the most important, or at least the most abundant amino acid in your blood. It's important for muscles. It's important for uh, brain health. Bodybuilders love glutamine. It's probably the most important amino acid for digestive health, and it also is a component of the glutathione molecule. Glutamine is in most high-protein foods, especially whey protein. And then the third amino acid is something called cysteine, which you will get if you supplement with N-acetylcysteine, NAC, which I have oftentimes said is my favorite non-essential nutritional supplement. NAC has chelating properties. It helps you build glutathione. And NAC is awesome if you're dealing with skin blemishes or acne. I put lots of it in my blemish repair complex, which you can find at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Time to hit the phones. We do have lines open, by the way. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Toronto or Ontario and talk to Robert. How you doing, Robert? Okay, I just wondered how to get more blood into my hand. More blood into cold. your hand? My hands are cold. Oh, you want to improve your circulation. Are you in Toronto, by the way? Yes. Near come there. see come see me at the Total Health Show uh, this week. Are you, are you planning on attending the Total Health Show? I was going to try. Are you, you having should... any extra meetings? Uh, we're going to do meetings all week in Toronto, and uh, I'm going to be doing a talk on skin health in Toronto at the health show. I'll also be doing a talk on the triangle of disease, and then I'll be doing a couple other talks on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, somewhere in Toronto. But if you uh, if you if I see at the health show, I'll give you some more uh, some more information. All right, hang on, Robert. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We've got lines open for you. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you have questions about the longevity products or your longevity business or our true skin health products, if you have success stories, we love hearing those. If you just want to contribute to the conversation, this is your program as well as my program. This is for all of us here. If you have something to say, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. And we will get your calls here momentarily. So hang tight. And we do have lines open. 844-236-6010. From the, uh, this is from the journal Health Day. 
or the new site, Health Day. A brainwave to help fight PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, which develops as a reaction to terrifying events, wars, natural disasters, sexual assault, other kinds of assaults, traumas. All of these can lead to anxiety issues, flashbacks, nightmares, overall misery, depression. Now they're using brain waves to help modulate the effects or the, uh, the symptoms of PTSD, of post-traumatic stress syndrome. Post-traumatic stress syndrome, obviously, like all brain issues, involves brain waves. You've got four major brain waves. They call them alpha brain waves, beta brain waves, theta brain waves, and delta brain waves. Nowadays, there's a fifth one called gamma brain waves. Your beta brain waves are really, really fast, and they're associated with stress. They're also associated with problem solving. They're associated with wakefulness day-to-day -day functioning. So uh, the beta brainwaves are what most of us are functioning under, and we need those beta brainwaves. But the problem is, is when we have anxiety issues, our beta brainwaves are, are going nuts. We got way more beta than the other ones. Alpha brainwaves are a little bit slower. And you want to you learn how to leverage those alpha brainwaves or take advantage of those alpha brainwaves just for overall health, number one, but especially if you're dealing with PTSD issues. And a lot of the strategies that we talk about on the bright side, the uh, breathing and the relaxing and the, the muscle relaxation and the calorie restriction, the hot water, a lot of these relaxation strategies that activate the rest and digest system are also alpha brainwave stimulating. Rhythms are classically alpha brainwave stimulating, slow rhythms. That's why when you're breathing, you want to breathe rhythmically. You've all seen the hypnotists, the, the classic stereotypical hypnotist who has the watch and the, the uh, person who's going to be hypnotized looks at the watch as it goes left and right and left and right. You are getting sleepy. That's going into an alpha state. You can use this alpha state or this rhythm, uh, the, the uh, uh, alpha state that's induced by rhythm when you're falling asleep, especially if you have insomnia. Learning to go into alpha state willingly or volitionally or consciously is an incredibly helpful strategy if you're dealing with PTSD, anxiety, insomnia, any kind of stressful situations. And something as simple as going into a rhythm can kick your alpha state, kick you into a, an alpha state. There's a really cool book, by the way, called, uh, the, op uh, called the Open Focus Technique by a guy named Fermi, F-E-R-M-I. Uh, open focus is in the title, and I forgot the full name of the title, but he talks about looking out of the periphery of your eyes to activate the alpha state. Looking through your peripheral vision, he states in the book that when you focus through the center of your eyes, you activate beta, and when you focus on the sides of your eyes, peripherally, you activate alpha, which is really interesting because looking through the sides of your mouth is a well-known shamanic technique for seeing auras. If you look out of the side of your eyes at a tree, you'll actually be able to see the energy coming off of the tree. Now, they don't say anything about alpha states, at least traditionally, when they're talking about seeing auras by looking through the periphery of your eyes, but that's exactly what's happening. You're activating, the, at least according to this guy, Fermi, who wrote uh, The Open Focus State, uh, that's exactly what's happening. By looking out of the periphery of your eyes, uh, looking peripherally, you are activating alpha brain waves and you're going into a relaxed state. Try it now. I'm doing it right now. And it almost instantly puts you into a relaxed state. Okay, let's see here. From science, the open access journal called Scientific Reports, study on mice demonstrates the action of strawberries against breast cancer. A study by European and Latin American researchers has shown that strawberry extract can inhibit the spread of laboratory-grown breast cells. How interesting is that? Well, now you know why. If you've been listening to The Bright Side for the last couple of weeks, you know that strawberries and all berries are rich in anti-cancer, antioxidant, and very therapeutic phytonutrients, especially gallic acid, which you're going to be talking about in the coming Bright Side episodes. Gallic acid is rich in all the berries, including strawberries. Blueberries probably have the highest amount of gallic acid, but all berries are going to have gallic acid, which means anti-cancer, as well as antioxidant properties. and. Uh, and according to this article, anyway, strawberry, uh, strawberries, uh, gallic acid-rich strawberries can help you if dealing with breast cancer, at least in a test tube. Okay, one more here, and then we'll get to your, uh, get to your phone calls. I got a whole bunch here, actually, but one more. Uh, master detox molecule boost immune defenses. This is from the journal Immunity. Scientists at Luxembourg Institute of Health have discovered a hitherto unknown molecular mechanism by which 
Human, the human immune system activates T cells. Guess what the molecule is? It's called glutathione, which is indeed the master detox molecule in the body. Glutathione is ridiculously important for a lot of reasons. It helps fight cancer, number one. It helps detoxify poisons, number two. It has chelating properties if you're dealing with heavy metal, mercury issues, if you're uh, worried about radiation poisoning, Fukushima issues. Glutathione is amazing stuff. It's made up of three little pieces. It's called a tripeptide because it's made up of three little amino acids. And these three amino acids are vitally important. And it's a good idea, if you're interested in making your own glutathione, to be using these three amino acids daily. Number one, glycine. You get that from bone broth protein which you can find at brightsidehealth.com. Glycine is found in cartilage, glycine is found in collagen, and glycine deficiency is a hidden and very underappreciated deficiency. Glycine itself is involved in detoxification. Glycine has relaxing properties, but it's also a component of the glutathione molecule. Make sure you're using your bone broth protein regularly and you'll get your glycine. Glutamine is the second little piece, little amino acid, a very, very important on its own, not just as a component of, glut of glutathione, but as on its own. It's wonderfully detoxifying. It's the most important or at least the most abundant amino acid in your blood. It's important for muscles. It's important for uh, brain health. Bodybuilders love glutamine. It's probably the most important amino acid for digestive health and it also is a component of the glutathione molecule. Glutamine is in most high protein foods, especially whey protein. And then the third amino acid is something called cysteine which you will get if you supplement with N-acetylcysteine. NAC, which I have oftentimes said is my favorite non-essential nutritional supplement. NAC has chelating properties. It helps you build glutathione. And NAC is awesome if you're dealing with skin blemishes or acne. I put lots of it in my blemish repair complex, which you can find at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Time to hit the phones. We do have lines open, by the way. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Toronto or Ontario and talk to Robert. How you doing, Robert? Okay, I just wondered how to get more blood into my hand. More blood it's into cold. your hand? It's far... My hands are cold. Oh, you want to improve your circulation. Are you in Toronto, by the way? Yes. Near come, there. See, come see me at the Total Health Show uh, this week. Are you, are you planning on attending the Total Health Show? I was going to try. Are you, you having should... any extra meetings? Uh, we're going to do meetings all week in Toronto, and uh, I'm going to be doing a talk on skin health in Toronto at the health show. I'll also be doing a talk on the triangle of disease, and then I'll be doing a couple other talks on Tuesday and Wednesday uh, somewhere in Toronto. But if you uh, if you if I see at the health show, I'll give you some more uh, some more information. All right, hang on, Robert. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Side eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. I am pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Robert in Ontario, Toronto, Ontario. Hey, Robert, you there? Roberto, do we still have Robert? Yes. Hey, Robert. So you got a little circulatory problem in your hands? Yes, just my hands. No, nothing else. Okay, well, you know, that's a good thing. <laughs> Most people have them in their extremities. You know, the blood getting to the extremities, is that's, that's a journey for the blood, especially if you're dealing with sludgy, sticky blood or a heart problem. Sometimes uh, issues, uh, nerve, nerve issues, neuropathies can cause, issue, cause problems in the hands or in the extremities, fingers, toes, etc. Do you have uh, any burning or any tingling sensation? Um, not very often. Okay, it's just, you, they're just cold. Yes, mostly okay. cold. And it's just your hands? Yes. No other part of your body? You don't have any temperature uh, issues in any other part of your body? No, everything's okay. Okay, three things that you want to think about. Number one, the thyroid, and I'll tell you how to deal with each of these. Number one, the thyroid. Number two, the heart and the vascular system. And then uh, number three, uh, the nerves, neuropathies. So for dealing with the th uh, for dealing with any of these issues effectively, we got to come up with other symptoms. Nobody just has circulatory problems in the hands. 
you've got to have other things going on. Now, I could tell you some stuff to do for your hands, but in order to get to the root of the problem, we've got to find some other symptoms. I call this triangulation. You've got to have at least three points in the body that are breaking down, three symptoms in the body in order to form a picture of what's going on. Just, uh, circulatory problems in the hands are secondary. They're not primary problems. Unless you've, unless you've injured your hands or something and you had them smashed up and the nerves are mechanically damaged somehow, which is highly unlikely, you have a chemistry issue. And if you have a chemistry issue, that is a blood issue, it's got to have impact, it's got to be impacting different parts of the body. So your job, if you really want to do this correctly, a doctor's job, a therapist's job, my job, if we're really going to do this correctly, is to come up with some other points of breakdown in the body. Now, uh, shy of that, all I can tell you is you got to work on your thyroid, you got to work on your, heart, uh, your circulatory system, and you got to work on your blood sugar system, but I'd rather have some more specific information. So anything else that rack your brain, are you having problems sleeping, do you have any digestive health issues, are you gaining weight around the middle, blood pressure issues, anything that you know about? My blood pressure is a little high some days, but not all the time. Okay, what else? I'm not overweight. Uh, you don't have any weight issues? You no. haven't gained weight? How old are you, my friend? 70 or 80. <laughs> You're 80? Good yeah, for I you. I never had much trouble until I was 78. Okay, that's when it's, it all started going south, huh? All right, so here's a couple things. Because we're not, I'm not going to be able to find any other symptoms. It doesn't sound like you know that you have anything else. I would encourage you to find them because they're there. But in lieu of that, the first thing you want to do is you want to improve the circulation through movement. So I would be getting on a treadmill regularly, and, and don't be misled by thinking it's just your hands because it's the entire circulation. And anything you could do to improve the circulation, that is the movement of blood through the body, is going to improve the movement of blood in your hands. So getting on a treadmill, I'm not talking about walking around the block, that's not going to make a difference. You've got to move the body in a stressful way so that you put a little bit of stimulus into the body or energy into the body. A brisk walk around the block maybe, or uh, 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 follow five minutes on a treadmill or a couple minutes on a treadmill, something that puts a little bit of burden on the body to improve the circulation. Second thing you do to improve circulation is open up the blood vessels with oxygen. The more you're oxygenating, the more the blood vessels are going to open up, and the more you're oxygenating, the more the circulatory system is going to move. So in addition to moving your body on a tre uh, by getting on a treadmill or walking around the block really fast or up the stairs really fast or hanging upside down if you can find an inversion device, that's another good strategy. In addition to that, you want to make sure you're practicing slow, deep breathing techniques. Thirdly, City, uh, hot water will do it. Hot water will act as a vasodilator. A hot water, if you just put your hands under hot water, if you take a hot shower or a hot bath, that'll also have a vasodilating effect, which can improve circulation to the hands. Uh, la uh, fourth thing, when you are under stress or under duress, cortisol is secreted. That's your stress hormone. When cortisol is secreted, that will cause the blood vessels in the extremities to close up. And so making sure you're relaxing, deep breathing in the hot water will help do that, but also progressive muscle relaxation can be helpful. That's where you focus on each muscle and then f uh, f contract each muscle, each muscle and then relax them. That's called progressive relaxation. You start off at the bottom of your body with your toes and work yourself all the way up. You contract your toes then relax them. You contract your, your foot muscles, then relax them. You contract your shin, shin muscles and your leg muscles, and then you contract them, and then you relax them. This progressive relaxation that involves contraction and relaxation is a wonderful way to slow things down in the body if you're trying to fall asleep, also to improve circulation. And then the last thing I would tell you is some nutritional supplements, especially the B vitamins and niacin. Niacin by itself, I'd be using a couple of the ultimate niacin a day. That's a wonderful vase dilator. In fact, many people have experienced the niacin flush, which is a classic example of vasodilation, of blood vessels opening up and, and uh, circulation improving. The niacin flush is when you get all hot and tingly, and that is literally the result of uh, opening up of blood vessels and a pouring through of, uh, of blood through various circulatory vessels, typically in your face, but also in the extremity. So using the B vitamins from the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the niacin, get on a whole healthy start pack, actually. That would help you. Omega-3 Three fatty acids are also blood thinning. That can help you. And I love the Fucoid Z as an overall blood tonic for all circulatory health issues. The Fucoid Z is made with Fucoidin, which contains something called polysaccharides. We've talked about that in the past. Polysaccharides are long chains of sugar that have blood thinning effects and that can improve circulation. So using the Fucoid Z, as well as other algae products, anything with polysaccharides in it, complex sugars, will help improve circulation.
circulation. Glucosamine will also have the same kind of effect, uh, improving circulation to the extremities and improving circulation everywhere, really. So I hope that helps you, Robert. Thank you so much for your call, my friend, and hope I see you on uh, this weekend at the Toronto Total Health Festival at the Toronto Convention Center. All right, take care, man. God bless. Hope I helped you out. And let's go to our friend Carl, the Truth Raider in Oregon. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Ben. I'd like to add a little bit of something to that. How about yeah. cayenne pepper? Yeah, yeah, I very think. good. That's awesome. Good job. Yeah. Cayenne. Also ginger. That's that, Both of those are very good. I love cayenne. That is amazing stuff. Put it, put right. it in your juices. Put it on your salads. Use, it at, use cayenne capsules just as is for a, a cardio tonic. There's a really great book called Left for Dead, which is writ, was written by an advertising executive. And I, don't, I forgot the guy who, who wrote it, but he talked about curing himself of heart disease using cayenne and hawthorn berry, which is another great cardio cardiovascular type herb uh, and they uh, we use hawthorn berry in our cardio cardio fx at longevity but that's a very 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 insightful point carl the truth rater not surprised Absolutely. coming from I you to pass that little tooth rater tip to you hey very complex question yes sir this may not be in the realm of what your research does and you focus in on the digestive issues that yes. cause illnesses that we can reverse and manage and take care of and cure yeah but this is interesting yeah. What is very complex, but maybe you can't answer it all here in the time that we have on the Well, I only have about a minute, okay. so you better get to the question or I'm not right. going to say anything. Viruses <laughs> that between people that, tran- that transform into sexually transmitted viruses and so, so on and so forth. Well, viruses what is the cause of that. Viruses don't transform, but there are there's a lot of literature that talks about bacteria transforming. Viruses are really very, very simple life forms, actually quite fascinating life forms that that really are on the very, very edge of what, of what life is about. All they are is a piece of DNA, a piece of genetic material with a coating, a capsule around them. That's all they are. And somehow these things integrate themselves into our DNA and then make our cells or our genetics produce them. They hijack our DNA for their own benefits. And it's really fascinating how they work. They don't necessarily pleomorph, which you're talking about is something called pleomorphism. And that is a very interesting phenomenon that is, is still co- somewhat controversial, although there are a lot of scientists now who believe that this is what's happening, that, that cells and bacteria are kind of going back and forth uh, and transforming into each other. I don't think that happens with viruses. Um, so I, I can't go, I, I can't really speak to that. But uh, viral infections typically happen in the body opportunistically. That is, when our bodies are weak, viruses attack. So the key to preventing a viral infection is not to worry about the virus, but to worry about the, the body, the terrain, the environment that the virus is going to, uh, theoretically anyway, proliferate in. Strengthen the body by making sure the immune system, which is a vigilance system, it's a, it's a sentinel system, it's a scouting system that is always looking for invaders. And making sure that immune system is strong by not putting the bad stuff in and putting, and putting the good stuff in. The good stuff, of course, being the mighty 90 essential nutrients, the bad stuff being number one, sugar, number two, digestive toxicity, number three, drugs, uh, uh, thoughts and, and mental, mental, uh, mental uh, thoughts and feelings, emotions also qualifies bad stuff or good stuff, depending on how you do, how you use your mental powers and your emotional powers. That's the key to dealing with viral infections. Out with the bad, in with the good. And I know that sounds simple, but that's really how simple health is. Out with the bad, in with the good. All right, Carl, got to motivate. Thank you for your call. Thank you for your tips. Appreciate it. My pharmacist. Ben, please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and all the longevity products at pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or brightsideben.com. We'll talk to you all later. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.